Hi, I'm Dean Argent, a university qualified mechanical engineer, and I'm the owner of used vehicle sales. I've got a cold.com.au. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of this. Tooth that up oh, there into it. Oi! Stop it while I'm recording videos. <laughs> Don't listen to me, just like the kids. <laughs> so, <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of this 2006. 2006 Nissan Navara D 44x4 STX Whew, that I have for sale here on my yard. So it's also got the canopy thing which I've put out for this to show you as well. So let's go for a walk around. Uh, as you can see we've got the, uh, the LED lights on the big bull bar on the front and that's the factory uh, bull bar. Comes with the factory alloys and the side steps as well. So um, not, not all of them have that. I really like this feature too because the, the shiny uh, alloy mirror uh, the, the shiny um, chrome mirror not all of them have that too and when you see it on there it just adds to the feel of the car especially when you've got a lot of matching chrome work around so if you see we've got the front bull bar got it on the mirror got it on the rear bar as well I just like that comes with the rhino rack roof racks up there obviously to hold that um, pull out canopy thing let's have a look around inside as we make our way through this car has got so many extras man it's just like it's just loaded with them so first of all, we've got the power windows happening there. Switch down here for the um, for the uh, front spotties. But let's have a look as we go. Like I've just this car, I've driven it. Everything's working beautifully. So it comes with the cruise control, all that stuff in there. That's all working like it should. Oh, I've got the keys in my pocket here. Keys in the skyrocket. Got the electric brakes down there. So I'm having trouble focusing. See that electric brakes, that Heyman Reese thingy. Right, yeah. so we've got the Heyman Reese electric brakes um, thing here. They've got the key here with all the central locking and all that stuff on it. And in auto, got the 299 on it. But as you can see, like no engine lights or anything like that working. As you can tell, the radio is working. <laughs> she's got the aftermarket Kenwood in her, so she's got the Bluetooth. If you look up here. Well, you can see the dogs fighting in the background, look at it. <laughs> but if you look up here, we've got this. We've got the speaker up there for um, talking on the phone. You've got the Kenwood thing there with the whole Bluetooth. Because I'm putting my hand there to cover because the sun's right in a bad spot at the moment. But you've got the Bluetooth happening just there. It's on the purple colour at the moment, but it changes colour. It's got AUX, USB, and whole bunch of other features on it but they're the main ones top of the market top of the line type uh, aftermarket stereo which just looks the goods got this voltage meter over here um, oh man this phone's playing up I don't know if you can see but that says 14.4 it's really hard to record LCD displays but it's not moving so obviously voltage is all good and everything's working properly so we've got the um, icy cold air con that's all working like it should and it's got the automatic central locking down there and you select your four-wheel drive here cigarette lighter phone charger all that in there got the log books and stuff here and hidden away up in there got the two two glove compartments which is a good feature of these d40s and they're just really cool to drive put junk in there let it build up over time that's what it normally gets used for so you got power mirrors here control all that there so there's a good look around the inside. You can see the condition of those seats. It's almost like they haven't been, well, I'm not going to say they haven't been sat in, but if you look closely, there is signs of wear there. But geez, for this amount of Ks, the car's been extremely well looked after. One thing I didn't mention before, and I look at this before I buy them, get down here like this, you look up the sides, not a single dent. Look across the front here, besides a few minor scratches just on there, I don't know if you can see them. No stone chips. And again, up this side, not a single dent so even though this car's fitted with all the aftermarket gear it's never been off-road i don't reckon and if it has it hasn't done any serious off-roading so because the ones that have they get bashed about so if you have a look in the back here you can see everything that's going on what i like about these is that you lift that i'll just have to use my other hand and then that lifts up like that and locks in so if you've got if you're a tradie or something then you want to use this for your work truck and your family truck well, you can because look at all that space you got in there to put all your gear so on the other hand you can just drop that down and then when you pull it forward by tugging on this one just here 
you can see you got the three points across the back there for putting the baby seats so that's what we're talking about right there any questions no i didn't think so so um as we go around you can have a look i'll show you in the back not a dent a few scratches on there i don't know if you can see them so it has done a little bit of bush work i guess they look like sort of bush scratches to me but such a minor amount check the condition of the tires they're like i wouldn't say they're new but they're like 90 percent come around the back she's the stx super tough with extras that's what i reckon it stands for that's my story and i'm sticking to it with that tow bar with the recovery hitch so you can piss that off and put a tow bar on it use your electric brakes if you want to go ahead and do that see under there we've got the anderson plug happening there and the uh, round pin there and if i get under here and have a look you'll see that there's which is all wired in and stuff i don't know if you can see under there but yeah okay so whew, i've got to keep moving there's a lot to get through on this bad boy she's wired up for the twin batteries so you can see we've got the second battery in the back there really cool feature especially when you're running the anderson plug and stuff like that i think it may have had a canopy or something on the back because we've got this foam here and those wires and they indicate to me they normally would run down through there and they are the they are the wires for and look there's another one there they're the wires that go up so you can turn the light on inside your canopy so if you want to throw a canopy on this little baby that would be the thing to do it's already wired for it saves you all that extra expense that you don't think of when it comes time to do these things so right now i'm in here underneath this canopy which is a really cool thing and uh just want to have a look in there and show you what's doing it's just in such good condition all around i'll tell you a little trick with these t40s um have a look in there you can see a lot of extras and yeah all the stuff if you ever need to use your key to unlock the door you got to pop that off of there and access the key lock from that side why i'm screwed if i know but um there isn't one on the driver's side so if your ever, remote ever stops lock stops working and you need to unlock it you got to come and do it from this door here and i just did it one-handed so as you can see it's not that challenging but yeah not a scratch not a dent she's just in great shape all around this truck so i'll go and have a look now at this bloody um what do they call this thing i don't know this roll out canopy get up that we got going on here so the way it works the way it works is we've got the legs that fold up so these bastards here fold up up into there and then that leg there folds up up here and then you unscrew this one and you push and then that that comes out of there if you can see where i'm looking at there like see how that's just a the end is just poked in there i'll put my thumb nail up behind it and then that just pulls back and then it clips into here so see there's a hinge there so this leg just folds first one into that part of the rail that one out into that part of the rail and then she just winds up it's like on this like I don't know how you say lost but it just sort of winds up and goes in there you roll it so you roll it around this unit here see and then that flaps the end one that's part of your zipper for when she's all done now if I had a spare hand or could somehow magically do it I could show you how to set it up but it takes like about I don't know bugger all just like a minute to do on your own but it's just a bit hard to do with the, the phone like this but as you can see it's quite windy here at the moment and it seems to be hacking it pretty well so um just a pretty handy little unit tough little four-wheel drive all around for uh, taking the family out camping working and all that stuff cool huh now i'll show you a whole bunch of the things that come with this car um for the price well before i do i want to tell you a little bit about us here this is our heavy duty sales pitch brace yourself because i'm about to go hardcore on it <laughs> no i'm not what we've got right we're on dirt we, we're on dirt we don't have concrete we don't have flags i don't have salesmen i don't have any of that shit, right so we're not like a normal car yard where you sort of rock up and browse around you have a look at these videos if you like what you see then we talk over from there but what the point is is that i don't spend money on all that unnecessary garbage that you don't want to know about i put the money back into the cars for your safety and your reliability and that's what's growing our business so fast is because i do that so like i said we don't have we don't have concrete we have dirt our security department's that big furry bastard you saw running around before our gates are locked as you can see like we're locked up there so the yard is by appointment only you can't just turn up here because we're not normally open you've got to let us know you're coming so that we can uh, open up and, and have a look around 
the prices of the cars are all fixed. I do it so it's just no bullshit. So there's the price. If you like it and you want it, great. If you don't, that's okay too. If you ask me, am I negotiable? I'll go, yeah, I'm negotiable, but you really want to pay more? <laughs> I'm just joking. But the reality is I set it all up this way. I do it differently than most. And we sell so many cars to so many happy buyers. Go and check our Facebook reviews and you'll see. There's always the odd goon on there who wants to, wants to carry on like a pork chop. You guess you can't ever stop that when you sell this many cars. But um, the vast, vast majority of our viewers are more than happy. Uh, of our buyers are more than happy. So uh, that's my pitch. How are we going? You still with me? That's as hardcore as it gets. <laughs> so what you really need to know is what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised for. Now I'm going to tell you a bunch of things. You ready? Firstly, it comes with six months Queensland Rego. It's got no plates on it, but we are classified as a large dealer. So when you take your car out of here, like we have plates on site, we do all your paperwork for Queensland Transport and all that. You don't even need to go to Queensland Transport. So if you want the one, want the car, you come down, you buy it, we stick the plates on and you drive it out. That's it. You don't go to Queensland Transport, we do it all for you. So the price includes six months rego. It includes all your stamp duties, transfer fees, government fees, this fee, that fee, you name it, fee, we include it. That's all paid for. You don't pay anything else. Just watch out if you look at any others at all the extra shit they're going to sting you for. It includes guaranteed no money owing, guaranteed never been written off, guaranteed never been stolen. I'll show you all that on the paperwork when you come down and have a look. Uh, and pick up your car. Well, we do a road, we do three levels of tests on each one. We do a road test, a yard test, and a and a mechanical test. So on the road test, I've just driven this car uh, about 200 k's, so I know how it drives. It drives beautifully. On the yard test, we check everything inside's working, everything inside's working, everything, and then we uh, put them up on the hoist. That's that raised roof up there. The roadworthy inspector comes out and he does his inspections on them, make sure everything's. Uh, up to speed underneath. This car passed with flying colours. So that's all the tests that we do on the car. There's nothing else to test. Now I'm not pretending it's a new car. It does have some blemishes as I've pointed out, but it is a very high quality used car that's passed all of our tests. So if you need help with your finance, there is a link at the top of the page that says no deposit finance. You can click on that, a video I'll play that'll show you what you, like show you how the finance works. It'll ask you to put in some details so that our finance fella can get back in touch with you and he can give you a quote on how much it's going to cost for you to per week, per month, whatever, to drive away in this fine automobile with a free canopy thing. <laughs> I think that's everything. I'm Dean Argent. Uh, thanks for watching my video. If you want it, come down and grab it. You can pay cash. We can accept cash, card, bank check, however you want to pay for it. We do all those things. Uh, if you want to pay for it with finance, that's okay too. Everything's, price is all fixed. Everything works the same regardless how you buy it. Oh, if you just want to come down and kick tyres or kick me, I well, guess you can do that too. <laughs> I'm Dean Argent. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you want it, if there's something I haven't covered or if you want to know what to do next, give me a call, drop me a text. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks for watching my video. See ya. Oh, I just realised when I was videoing this, that's actually got those lights down the side. See down under there, those clearance lights? which just looks really cool. And it's just getting a little bit dark now. Oh, I've packed it away. You see, it only took me a couple of minutes. Then I videoed that other car there beside it. But if I turn these lights on, you got those LEDs down there that um, sort of act a bit like puddle lights. Just thought I'd add that short addendum into this video. Thanks.